Okay, let's create an address label with Avery Wizard. Open Microsoft Word and then the Avery Wizard. So we click the Avery tab, Avery Wizard. There's the opening screen. Click Next. Either enter the product number or search the product category. I'm looking for a basic address label. That's one by two and five eighths and white. And this is the one I'd like to select. Click Next. Now we need to pick a template. We'll go with this one. Click Next. This time we'll make a sheet of identical labels. Click Next. Let's go over the formatting tools. These tools are a subset of Microsoft Word's tools. Remember, the same tools and techniques used in Microsoft Word work here. We'll select the text to demonstrate. You can select the text by clicking on the left button and moving the cursor over the text. Once the text is selected, we can look at the formatting tools. We have uh, font tools, spacing tools, editing tools, graphic tools. Let's take a closer look. Just like in Word, you can select different fonts and different font sizes. You can make them bold, italic, or underline. Change the color. Let's put that back so we can also show that you can highlight you can left justify, center, or right justify each paragraph. And you can change the spacing as well. Over here, we'll have some editing tools. Let's just go back and undo everything to start at the beginning. Here's the redo. You could cut, you can copy, you can paste, you can check your spelling, and you can zoom in. This default is a whole page at 172%, which works the best for most cases. Here are some art tools graphics tools. You can draw a text box. You can insert clip art. You can create word art. You can draw a line, draw a rectangle, create an oval, select from several symbols, insert the day and time, And here we have a barcode, but this is the problem I pointed out earlier in some of the lessons. Uh, this part has a bug in it and they're working on it. So you won't be able to insert barcodes or create barcodes with the Avery Wizard yet. But of course, you'll see how to do that with other programs, some of which work better in some circumstances. With the oval selected, we go down and draw an oval. Now, you can rotate the oval like so, but also notice a lot of drawing tools come up. I'd like to just point out a few of these. I'm going to pick a color and for fun, we'll do the 3D 
effects. So I'm selecting a long 3D effect. Now I'm going to drag it down and it covers the text. So if you right click you can even select the order. So we'll put the object behind the text and that creates kind of an interesting effect. But let's just go back to the beginning without any special effects by undoing everything and there we are.